you guys can probably see that, so I'm going to make sure you can't. Bam. Okay. Okay, that's that one. There we go. Good boy. And I'm going to make a private GM roll out of this. I can... Ooh, mystery. Yeah, mystery. Ooh that's that's the point. Holy crap. Okay. So I'm going to keep this one open. Oh, oh. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right now, they're staying ahead. Um, but... Of course, I have to, to close that. Ooh, my special effects worked. Okay, um, so by the end of the day, that's how you guys will move. Um, so there we go. But now I need to get travel rolls from you guys. Um, so let's see. As okay, events take place in specific spots along the journey path of the company to determine exactly where the guide of the company must make a marching test, rolling travel. So go ahead and roll travel, uh, Ross. Uh, was I able to regain my uh, help from the fellowship pool? I uh, you didn't what ask. Did you okay. Uh, you would have okay. The w the way that fellowship pool works, you can regain your fellowship points. Uh, you're supposed to be doing it when you rest, but uh, okay. uh, we we can do it otherwise now. Uh, but there well, I mean, there is the previous night, so. yeah. Well, there okay. is still well, but that was the previous night. Uh, if you guys took off right into this and are following uh, the tracks, then you have not had a night of rest. Yeah, all right. That's fine. I'm just making sure. Okay. All right. So, chill. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So that is uh, a travel roll. It's a basic success. As soon as the company leaves, the guide makes his first marching test or their first marching test and counts a number of hexes along the journey path based on the outcome of the travel roll. If the travel roll was a failure, okay, it's not a failure. So since it was a success, you get three hexes. Uh, you know what? So, Ross, I am going to adjust permissions on Bjarner. Oh, I've already got him open. What am I thinking? Um, so that you can move that token. That token mm. for Bjarner represents your entire group. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. um, oh, would you stop that? Okay. Configure permissions. So all players are observers. Uh oh. Okay. So Bjarner would be an owner and Norin will be an owner. Okay, save changes. All right, so you can move your token three spaces to to follow. If you want me to move them, that's fine. But you're basically well, I, going to be uh, along the end. Yeah, so I can be here. Yeah, you'll be uh, there. And, and the tracks go that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, I just want to make sure before I start moving, so... Yes, yes. The tracks go that way. Um, so let's see. Does it look like they crossed the floor? You, it may have, have been likely. Um, you'll be able to find out in the morning. Now, let's see. Uh, since you were successful... Let's see, the lore master finds the precise spot by counting the appropriate number of hexes, starting from the current position of the company and proceeding towards its destination. The last hex reached by counting is the spot where an event takes place. If the company is using a journey log, the event is marked. Okay, so there is no event uh, because you had... Oh, no, wait a minute, I guess there is supposed to be an event. Regardless, that's that's weird. That's not like the original. Um, 
so for the event journeys can be long but uneventful or made exciting by any, many unexpected occurrences using the journey sequence described in the previous pages each journey may end up featuring one or more events based on the length of the journey once the lore master has yeah. identified the location where an event is going to take place apply the following sequence <laughs> so yeah there there doesn't have to be an event so we're we're not going to worry about that um however i would like uh for uh, Yuald and or Duota, either working together or separately, to go ahead and and make a die roll for food. Do you two want to work together, or do you want to work individually? I personally think together would be better, but... Okay, so Duota? what would that be? Well, yeah, what that would... Together on it. Yeah, you both have the same skill... So what I would do is give two dice to whomever decides to make the roll instead of having you roll individually. I can roll. Okay. Because okay. Okay. both of you are skilled. Uh, you both got uh, Hunter at uh, three favored, right? Yes, sir. I'm, yes. You know, I'm not even sure I should make you roll. I'm going to make you roll. Go ahead. Who wants to roll? I'll do it. Okay. Then go ahead and roll said, plus uh, two plus dice. Two? Yep. Okay. And here we go. And if you roll all ones, <laughs> Duota gets to shoot you. Okay. <laughs> so you've got a success. <laughs> Yay. Let me see what the quality of the success is. Okay, so you get a basic success out of it. You're able to find yep. just enough dinner. Okay? So. All right. All right. Okay, so the next morning comes. Uh, Radigant, go ahead and roll Explore, please. All right. So since we rested, we can use Fertile Chip. Yes, yes. Um, you were able to rest, so you can regain a fellowship point. Um, but again, you yeah. kind of need to ask. Uh oh, no, well, that's why I'm, 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 why I'm mentioning. Okay, it, so, so not, not only me, but everyone else. Can... Okay, so is everybody okay with kind of recovering some fellowship, and how many of you would need to, or some hope from the fellowship pool, and how many of you need to do so? I, I lost a hope, so yeah, I need one. Okay. So that would be what, two? Yeah, I can take either one or two. Whatever anybody's comfortable with. Okay, would that refill your entire your entire pool? Two would, yeah. Okay, is but, is everybody I'll okay? Take one if no one else well, uh, that's the point yeah. of finding out. Yeah. Is is everybody yeah. okay yeah. with um, Norin taking two? Yes. Okay, and yeah, with fine. Radigan taking one? Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Okay, there's that a... replenishes my, my uh, hope pool, correct? That it, it, Yeah, just your hope. Okay. Yeah. That will and how many your fellowship points does that leave us? It's on the screen. What? It, it'll, Where? it'll reset now. So. Well, okay, so yeah. it's like right there. Are yep. you are you scrolled in, uh, zoomed in a lot, Ginger? I must be. Yeah. Uh, oh, fellowship. Oh, rating two. Gotcha. Yep. So that's what's left. Until the end of tonight's session, okay, which is probably about twenty minutes or so away. Um, okay, I think I lost the trail. Unless I I spend a hope or a fellowship point. Would you like to spend a hope point? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and mark off one hope point from your sheet, and 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 what happened? Okay, Ross caught me uh, at the end of an evening. You guys, it, I. I'm going to have to really read up on hope and how it works in second edition. But uh, at the end of the evening, you guys were able to replenish some of your hope. So uh, that's good for you. So go ahead and do that uh, that D6, the forward slash R uh, space 1D6. And, uh, and that will determine if we can make that happen or not. But I need to open Radigand to yeah, make sure. Yeah. 
Try to help the whole party, not just myself. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Because I don't want to, you know, get ambushed by opponents or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see. Explore is under wits. You needed a 12. Okay, so let me close that and that because it's not real difficult to figure that out okay 10 11 12 13 so you are able to maintain the trail but it takes a few hours for you to to kind of catch up to it now when you go to cross the anduin river at the old ford i run my game a little bit different um, in the in the works as written in first edition, the old Ford is still a shambles. There are like tents there, and um, and and uh, the Bjornings are keeping an eye on the old Ford, making sure that people pass safely. But when as they pass safely, they are are charged kind of a a, a, a toll or a fee. So you mm -hmm. guys can basically. Let me let me get this done. You know, certain editions have a later timeline. Yes. Oh, yes. I know. I know. Um, but uh, I'm I'm still going with uh, uh, 2946 or well 2945 for right now. Um, okay. So in my game, I run it where the bridge has been restored. Why has it been restored? Because Dane Ironfoot. Um, desirous to get trade working again with um, with the Blue Mountains and with All Points West has put a lot of gold into it and has made a deal with um, uh, De uh, with uh, Bayorn to restore the old Ford. Now there are men, dwarves, and uh, men and dwarves basically uh, who run the old Ford. It's been, there are a few buildings in it now, things like that, because it just didn't make any sense to me for the old Ford to still be a shambles after smog has been slain and and the merchants are trying to get money flowing again. So uh, you get to the head of the bridge that crosses the Anduin River. This is where the tracks have led you. Um, but there are two Bayornings there uh, that morning, and, uh, and, and they're like, Halt, you may not pass yet unless you are under strict orders to do so or have money to pay the toll. Well, I have money to pay the toll, but we're hunting an orc that fled with, a, with your... Uh... Sickle the moon artifact, so you may want us to pass so we can hunt this orc down. Well, the the Bayorn, I'm going to give you a roll here in just a moment. Um, the Bayorn, actually, you know what? Go ahead and give me a persuade. Ooh. Uh, I have no rings. Oh, that's okay. It'll be a d12. You can still roll it. Okay. I mean, no rings, so. The, okay, the Bayornings are standing there, and and they're like, um, they they're almost confused. They're like sickle of the moon. Does that not belong to our Lord Bayorn? Does anybody have a persuasion in our party who can back up? Our fine dwarf. <laughs> I mean, I got plenty of. I don't. Got uh, plenty of golden gems. I am from Erebor, after all. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna back up for just a moment. Let me mark my place here. We're gonna back up for just a moment and do something that has been a part of the game, but it's easier in second edition than it is in first. <laughs> Bless you. Um. <laughs> So what what you're going to do is something that is called a council, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, so the 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 Bayorning that is on the bridge 
has an air of authority to him. You don't know if he would be a noble. Uh, the Bayornings really don't have nobles, uh, except for Bayorn himself, uh, or Thanes or something like that. But this one seems to have an air of authority to it. Um, I'm going to say that he has a resistance of three because it's a relatively reasonable request to get across. So I had to set resistance first. Okay. Second, have you guys introduced yourselves or are you just kind of of, of floating well, through? I, I'll introduce myself since I'm the one talking to you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, do you want to just make a roll or do you want to uh, do you want uh, to try and talk I, through it? I am Norn of Erebor. I fought with King Dane and born at the Battle of Five Armies. I'm a friend of Bjorn. My people are your friends. Okay. Give me an all roll plus one dice. That was pretty good. I had no skill. <laughs> oh, well... Um, do you want to try and throw a hope point into it, or do you want to let somebody else try and introduce themselves? Um, I mean, yeah, I'll let somebody else try it. Okay, so, all of you have watched I'm Noreen. Glad. Huh? I was hoping Privacy or something would have been better. Yeah. That's something I have an actual ring in. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, the way that you presented yourself was yeah. more in the awe category okay yeah, that's fine. That's so fine. so okay what you have for for all of you uh who are here uh and and i think somebody beeped in is somebody going to do something no okay so back to the game um okay each of you just saw what ross did to introduce his character noreen to these fellows that are watching over the bridge there he's trying to parlay more or less for passage to to get across but it's more or less a beginning um uh the amount of resistance that could be had is three points uh for a general reasonable request six points for a very bold request corresponding to a goal that is profiting the company more than it does the people encountered or nine, a resistance of nine, is an outrageous request that really takes some talking through to be able to get. Now, generally, you can ask for uh, help. You can ask for guidance. Um, you can ask for items. Or uh, like what you guys are trying to do right now is a simple interaction for trying to cross the bridge. Now, in the one ring, both first and second edition, there is a big push to make sure that um, that uh, the niceties of like medieval Europe as they were established between commoners and nobles is is uh, taken care of in this game. You can do it through dice rolls, but for me, it's better if you do it through role playing. If you do good role playing and I still think you need a dice roll, I will probably give you a bonus like I just did with Ross. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Now, do any of you want to take a moment and try and introduce yourself? And if you do, I've got a couple more things to do. Or do you just want to try and push your way across the bridge? Uh, Radagund is silent, remember? <laughs> 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 I'll, leave, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, Radigan the Silent does not mean she doesn't speak. It means she's really sneaky. True. It just also means that she doesn't have any skill in Persuade or Awe. Okay, what about Courtesy or Riddle? I have one dot in Courtesy. Okay. Now, here, here's the deal. 
A roll of awe conveys a powerful message using few words. Player heroes can use it to impress someone and overturn a negative early reaction, or to quickly set the terms for the coming discussion. Using awe has a downside though, as the spokesperson voluntarily mentions their lineage, deeds, and other personal information of the various members of the company for full effect. If you have a spokesperson appointed, if you're trying to do things individually, it's a different story. Courtesy is a polite introduction, which is the best way to smooth a, re uh, a relationship before asking for support or other form of assistance. It is particularly useful if the company, or at least the spokesperson, is already on friendly terms with the opposing party. On the contrary, an, uh, to unfriendly ears, a courteous speaker might sound duplicitous. Finally, it is possible to politely refuse to reveal too much about the identity of the group. Third, <clears throat> the skill riddle, if you use the skill riddle. If the company has doubts about the opposite party's intentions, the spokesperson can craft questions and answers in a way so as to extract a lot of information from others in exchange for very little. However, a poor performance is sure to provoke mistrust in the opposing party. So everything has a bonus and a penalty to it. So depending mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. how... Hmm? Oh, I was just saying, I'm skilled in real, that would have been useful <laughs> that. well um what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow you guys to kind of determine what it is you're doing uh what what kind of interaction or introduction you're trying to make uh based on how you establish yourself but i have i've read the three different types that they typically allow for this that's not saying other skills can't be used it's just saying these are the three most common skills that will be used for an introduction so yeah i'm already going so hopefully so also. yeah so yeah. if any of you want to introduce yourselves oh. speak up oh we lost somebody uh, uh. Oh, who did we lose? We lost. Yeah, it looks like uh, we lost um, uh, Remy. You oh. lost me for a moment. I'm I'm still here, but my internet is connected for a moment. Okay, do you need to restart real quick? No, I'm good. I'm good now. Okay, everything's reconnected. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, Duota, do you want to try and introduce yourself? Yeah, I would have been, I mean, so my character was a traveler, right? You mm -hmm. know, I tended to wander around a bit. So More of a wanderer, I yeah. maybe, yeah, would I maybe know these people? Ooh. Let me, uh, let me take a look at your sheet, um, and, and take a look. Because you may very well. Let's see. One, okay, you're Bayorning and a messenger. As a messenger, you might be. Uh, you have Anduin lore, so you at least have an idea about what the old fort is here for. Um, and more so because you are a Bayorning, you may be able to pass and pass your friends uh, without having to pay anything. Okay. So, what role would I make for that? Well, um, you, what you're trying to do, more or less, is introduce yourself. So probably courtesy is going to be your best role. But again, you need to present yourself in a a, a way that is courteous between bear warnings. Now, as a bear or a person that is based on a bear, um. Are you necessarily, is it necessarily that you're going to be a, a suck up or a kiss butt or anything like that? Or is your, um, uh, are you going to be kind of gruff and explain to them uh, uh, what the mission is? Because you will probably have a little bit more truck with these guys than Norin does. 
I think I would be slightly gruff with them. Explain the situation. They would probably know how important the uh, sickle of the moon is. I would say that we were sent on a mission to retrieve it after it was stolen. Okay. Now, you have your noble armor on. So, the resistance value of a reasonable request is reduced by one. So, with your noble armor on... You gain one dice to a courtesy roll. Uh, you gain one dice uh, one time each in the introduction and interaction stages. So you only get to use one dice uh, for the introduction stage, and then you'll have another dice for the for the interaction stage of the council. Okay. So with your noble armor, the the reasonable request is reduced by one, so it's reduced to two instead of three which is handy for you. Um, so if you would like to make a courtesy roll, you've got one and it's favored. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want to actually try and role play a little bit through it or to see if I can give you anything else? Or do you just want to make the roll? I could try and role play it for a bit. Okay. So you step forward... Uh, probably not quite shoulder to shoulder, but shoulder to hip with, uh, with Noreen, because Noreen is, is short. <laughs> He's wider, not shorter. Right. So, um, <laughs> so what, what is it that you say when you step up? Pardon the confusion, friends, but we are on urgent business. You see, on the last day of the Festival of the Moon, the sickle was stolen. We've all been sent to retrieve it. We are in pursuit of the thieves at this... I mean, at this... No, pardon. We are in pursuit of the thieves as we speak. May we please pass. It is urgent. The two on the bridge actually look at one another, uh, and they have some a bit of concern. Um, I'm going to give you an additional dice... Uh, to do that. Now, you don't have to use the one dice based on your armor if you don't want to. But if you want to, you can. This uh, I'm going to tell you this may be the only uh, council that you do this uh, particular time. Nice. Alright, so are you saying that I get two dice added? That's what I'm okay. saying. Awesome. I would like to use it, please. Okay. Then go ahead and roll. All right, rolling with plus two. Oof. Okay, that's that's a success. Okay, here here's how I'm gonna do it. Um, so that is a success. That beats one point of resistance. So they've only got one point of resistance left. Um. Uh, and that's just well. Now, wait a minute. Can you reduce resistance in the introduction stage? I don't think you can. Most challenging part from a birthday party to an off official audience with a lord or lady it is during this stage that the players engage with the lore master in playing out the scene and make skill rolls to accumulate enough... Okay, okay, so here the resistance rating is still 2. You have to match or exceed the resistance rating. Uh, that was a really nice introduction, and they're willing to talk with you... Um, but they're like, why should I let, uh, why should I let your allow your friends to pass? So it looks like you just inherited the interaction, also. So here's the deal: useful skills for an interaction are in hearten, insight, persuade, riddle, or song. Any one that you want me to read, I can do that. Ah. Uh. I think insight might be my best bet. Okay. All right. So insight, this skill is useful to evaluate the emotions of who the company is interacting with, possibly revealing unspoken purposes or hidden feelings. So that one might actually help you the best, yes. So, but these guys are reluctant. So you've got one dice you can use for the interaction phase, like you did for the introduction phase, but you lose one dice because these guys are reluctant to let your company pass. 
I see. But you can role did play they, it. Did they let that? Did they let the, the the thief pass? You don't know. That's what the the part of the council is about. And of course, Duota can role play through this. And if she fails, I'll allow at least one more because. Uh, unless uh, you do something really, really bad and it increases their resistance. All right. You can't expect someone to chase two thieves by themselves, can you? I mean, I'm not exactly shy about my abilities, but I don't think that my odds would be all too grand trying to pull this alone. I do need my companions. They kind of look at one another. I, okay, I'm going to bring this one to the group, and and I Bravo. want you. I, I thought hey, it was I, I thought it was really good, but I'm not sure it's good enough to add a dice. So I'm going to ask each of you what you think. Um, you know, so, several of you are are former or current game masters, so I want you to think in that vein. So you old, what do you think? Should she get a bonus dice? You know, I think it was a good effort, definitely, but I don't know if that would be personally be enough for a bonus dice, but oh. it's still a good effort. Okay, so that's one for a no. Um, Luthwin? Uh, I say the same. Good you... effort, and not quite to a bonus dice. Okay, Norin? I think she should get a bonus dice because I want to move this along. <laughs> now, come on, man. Um, okay, so that's one four. Come on, come on we're wasting time. And I vote for a bonus dice because I don't think I could have said it any better either. But, but okay, that's fair enough, Radigan. So that's two and two. So I have to break the tie. Um, so now, now, wait a minute. This is how the game is played. This is a major I mean, part of the game. Will, I mean, she won't play. She didn't. Just say, you know, let us pass. Just say, you know, send someone or something. So. Okay. All right. Fair enough. That's some good reasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the bonus dice. And don't forget, you can use the bonus dice for your armor if you want. You don't know what's going to happen in the future, and you don't know if this dice roll is going to go badly. So keep that in mind. Wait, but, is there a limit on how many dice rolls I can make with my armor? Um, yes, you get one for interactions and one for in introductions, okay? Uh, it's not a number of dice rolls that you have a limit on, it's the matter of extra dice. So you've got one extra dice as a result of your armor, and we're giving you one extra dice because I had to be the tiebreaker, and Ross made a good point, or, you know, two, if if we're being gruff. Um, so, <laughs> um... Yeah, so you could use up to two dice, and you can still add a hope point if you roll well enough. So it's up to you what you want to do. Okay. All right, so I'm going to roll insight plus two. Insight? Okay, insight plus two. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's a great success. All right, so... These guys on the bridge are kind of humbled by by your reasoning, and they're like, they're, they, but they're acting sheepishly, like something is not quite right. Okay, they're like, you may pass, and they step aside. Thank you, friends. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Are you sure he was a thief? Who passed before us, please, sirs? Can you say? Again, they look at one another and they're like, I, uh... But uh, let's see. Um, go ahead and roll Persuade, uh, Radigan. I don't have that skill. I, you're the one who spoke up. 
Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they've still got one point of resistance. Uh. So, um, so they look at you, Radigan. They recognize your clothing and whatnot, um, but they recognize you as a, a, a woods person. Um, but they have some resistance to a woods person. Now, let me ask the rest of you. Did any of you pick up um, uh, Radigand as a fellowship focus? Would any of you like to pick up Radigand as a fellowship focus? I would. Okay. All right, so go ahead and open How your character sheet. Huh? You're going to open up your character sheet. How do I do that? You're going to open up your character sheet. I'm there. <laughs> Find the fellowship <laughs> focus line, which is, I think, towards the top right of the character sheet. Should be right by title. Right by title. And next then, to title. Ni next to title. Uh, I'm there. Click in that line and type Radigant. Which, of course, the spelling for that is in the lower left of your of your canvas. Not your character sheet, the canvas. I see it. Okay. Yes, I know. Now, she only made a roll of three, which is a pretty rough failure. But, would you like to spend a point of hope to give... Uh, to give her, uh, let's see. I think it's just one dice for that, because you're not you're not really trying to inspire her. Um, so yeah, to give her one dice. Yeah. So take my hope down to thirteen and uh, roll a d six. No, uh, no, she rolls a d six. So Radigan. Uh, okay. Go ahead and your forward slash R space 1D6. Nice. Six. Yes. Yeah. So what that means, that, that gives you a nine, but it, it also gives you a greater success. So that's not quite enough to meet the 12 that you need. Would you also like to throw a point of hope in there? Yes, actually. Okay. Now I want they you were guys. Acting very guilty. I want uh, <laughs> there. It's. I don't think it's so much guilt as. Well, it, well, it might be guilt. Anyway, I, I can't think of the word for it right now. Anyway, note that I am not having you guys pull a point from both the fellowship rating and from your hope. Um, I am having you pull hope from two different sources. Yeah, so, my own hope and hers is being yeah is being drained by these by these fellows. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, one d six again. Yes. Go ahead and roll another d six. You need at least uh three points. Oof. Okay. So for all of that, Somebody you still save me. <laughs> for all of that, you still did not exceed succeed. So what it is is you go to burble out a question. Uh, for them ab ab about wait, uh, wait, wait, who? Wait, 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 wait. I thought, I thought you rolled two d six. No. When someone no. spends it on the fellowship person. That, well, that's for inspiration. Let me let me uh, go back to fellowship focus and make certain. Oh, would you stop already? Okay. Uh, we're getting to a point where we're going to stop for the night. Uh, let me get out fellowship focuses again. Gazuntai. Uh, fellowship focus, page 55. I probably made a few mistakes tonight, um, which I'm going to work on. Okay, fellowship focus. Player heroes providing support to their fellowship focus make them gain two dice. Okay, so roll one more d6. So that was a nice catch, uh, uh, Connor. Instead of one dice. Okay. Player heroes. So I roll one more d6? You roll one more d6. 
so support and you spent your own hope so yeah so you only need one more point technically Yay. okay so you get in there and and you're able to ask them um oh you know uh what was your question again it was about uh, what person passed by here or something yeah who was it that passed recently um one calling himself Senric. He is an archer, uh, a hunter of some renown, but he is also questionable in his loyalties. Would I know him? Um, I don't know. What is your lore? Do um, you have a uh, uh, yeah, Duoda of Stony Ford? <laughs> I have Anduin lore. I don't think Anduin lore is going to help you with recognizing somebody uh, somebody that's out there. Your messenger, beast lore. You've got folk lore. Well, no, folk lore, folk lore is about history. You possess some knowledge of the many traditional customs, beliefs, and stories of the various communities that compose the free peoples. So that's not going to tell you about about that hmm lore is not going to help you in this case I'm going to say no you have not heard of Senric in this particular instance um, alright so you guys managed to get across uh, uh, the old ford and there is a place to rest for the night Okay, so uh, who would like to replenish? There's two points remaining in the fellowship rating. Who would like to replenish? Uh, how do you replenish and what's well, required? The, the, the big thing about that is you, you simply ask, okay? Who would need it the worst? Who has used the most fellowship or hope points? Uh, during this session thus far. I'm no, here. Yeah. Uh, I'm here. I haven't used any lately. Okay. Noreen's good. Luthwin? I'm good. Okay. Oh, I skipped Radigan. Radigan! I haven't used any fellowship points, but yes, I'd, I'd replenish if I had to. Uh, well, if you haven't used any, then you don't need to replenish. Uh, Dwarda? Uh, How come we're down so far if we haven't, if nobody here has used any? No, hope. Hope yeah. points. Yeah, the hope oh, points. Hope. Yeah, I used, I've hope. used two hope points. How do I replenish that? Well, uh, that's the thing that I'm trying to get at. There are two points left in fellowship rating for this game session tonight. Okay. Um, uh. So that means that uh, two of you can take one each, or one of you can take two, but if there is some kind of an objection from the party about who takes what, uh, uh, if there's enough objection, I should say, then uh, that individ requesting individual cannot take it. So if, if uh, who, who is actually down hope? Me, I, I, I am. Th I think it's Dwarda and Radigan, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The rest of us haven't used the knee for this next day, which is okay. It, um, okay. Well, so, go ahead, Ross. No, I was just trying to say that you know I was. This is why I was trying to help everybody learn this. Yeah. So can't used to doing this. Um, but yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Keep so if it's all right with everybody, if there is no um, no problem with it, uh, how about Duota and Radigan? You take one each. All right. All right, and that puts us back up one point, hope point. One hope point each, yes. Okay. Yeah, because this is her reset for this game. Okay. Is, and then we can you know sort out how we send it this game as well. <laughs> right. Um, 
Now, do you guys, uh, we're, we're going to kind of leave this for next time, but I want you guys to think on this. Uh, actually, I'll ask you tonight, and, and then we'll figure it out. Do you guys want to stay and rest in the old fort, or do you just want to continue on? Um, how tired are we? Um, it's nighttime now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a dwarf. I'm used to marching always. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, dwarves can generally march quite a lot. Um, but, um, you haven't really taken any fatigue because you haven't had a, a, a mishap on your travel roll. Yes. So, so what we're going to. We hmm? I think we should go on and try to catch them before they get further away. Personally, but that's just me. Okay, is everybody else in agreement with this, Duota? Yeah, sure. Okay, you old? I'm used to traveling, so yeah, I'm good. Okay, Luthwin? I'm good. And Radigand? Uh, I'm willing if they are. Okay, so now what I need to determine, uh, I am, I've got to figure out how to move, uh, let's see. Now, I know that these guys are there, but now what I need to do is go up here and roll this. Should be a private GM roll. I hope it's a private GM roll. <laughs> I set it to blind GM roll. Um, hello? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think my system froze. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I have to click the roll button on the box. I'm just doing great tonight. Uh -huh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So. Okay. How do I want to do this? Okay, I know how I want to do this. So... That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so when we come back together, uh, I, you know what? I need to, to move you guys back across the bridge so I remember where to count from. Um, when we come back together next week, we will um, we'll play through. Oh, get back there. Uh, we'll play through with a fresh uh, roll, okay? A, a fresh travel roll. And we'll move on that way. Fair enough? Sounds good to me. Sounds okay. good. All right. So just to make sure we got this right, you were there. And then one, two, three. So the next morning you move there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel roll from here. You guys will make it successfully across the bridge. And, uh, and it won't be a problem. So, but we... The travel roll only started here, and then one, two, three, okay? And I guess each 10-mile thing is supposed to be one full day, but I, I don't necessarily agree with that. You guys have traveled well. All right, are there any questions before we kill it for the night? No. No, I'm good. Uh, we're we're going to get this guy. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I'm skilled in tunnels and stone. You have to go into the mountains. If you have to go into the mountains, that's absolutely right. Okay, so I will catch up with you guys next week. Hopefully, Andrew will be able to join us again. Uh, we're going to say that Walford has just basically been hanging on, and and we'll go from there. Uh, so to all of our audience out there, have a great night, and we'll see you next week.